story, a very obscure story, about Queen Elizabeth. A long time ago, when she was just but a very small, small princess, and King Henry VIII was still kind of a nice guy, he invited some French dignitaries over so that he could betroth his daughter Mary to the King of France's son. And among those that, among the French that were there for this ceremony, was a small French girl. And she saw the Princess Elizabeth, and she saw how lovely she was, her beautiful hair, and that she had freckles. And the French girl went over there to her and said, Princess Elizabeth, you are so beautiful. How do you get freckles? And the princess Elizabeth responded, Well, it's because it, I'm so beautiful because of my freckles. And the French girl said, Well, how, how, how do you get them? How do you get them? But before Elizabeth could answer her, she was called away. And the young girl never got an answer to her question. And there soon after, they went back to France. And the dignitary lived his life. His daughter and his wife. The French girl, she grew up. And every day, she would look in the mirror. And she would pray. Please, dear Lord, grant me for I really want to be Elizabeth. And every day when she woke up, she would look into the mirror, hoping beyond hope that she would have freckles just like Elizabeth. And of course, they never showed up. And as she grew into a teenage girl, she became more and more despondent, more and more depressed. Every day passed. Every day she prayed, and never her answer, her never her prayer was answered. Until finally, she resolved herself to stop praying, sitting in the window, and just crying. Well, her parents did not know what to do because they could not change her mind. They tried to coax her, they tried to cry her, they tried to call her. Most for beauty aids. They tried calling wise women for strange medicinal purposes. Nobody could come up with a way for her to get freckles. And her parents finally just said that, you know, if any person can get our daughter freckles, just like Queen, just like Elizabeth. We will marry her off to the suitor. Okay, so now it's turned into who can come up with a great way to get to the girl, because she's wealthy, to come up with a way to Sorry, give her freckles. So now in comes all these old guys with all their little tricks and their beauty products, which of course don't work. And she, again, resolves to sit in the window and just cry. Now, all the while that this is going on, there is a young man. He's not, he's not wealthy. He's rather, you know, he's a working class guy. He walks past her window every day. Every day he looks up and he sees this beautiful young girl. He's just everyone crying. And he found out why she was crying. And he resolved to go to the source of the problem, the source of the issue, he saved up his money and decided he was going to go to England and he was going to ask Elizabeth himself because he wanted to go to the source of the issue. So he saved up his money and he went to England. Well, by this time, Elizabeth is a young woman. She's not living in the castle of the park. In fact, she's living in the Tower of London. Father's dead. Mary's on the throne. He figures, okay, well, at least I've got, at least I can talk to her there. She's not anybody important anymore. She's a prisoner. So he goes to the Tower of London and petitions to see Elizabeth. Now, the Tower of London.
one, this is a very dangerous place, even if you are royalty. You are not guaranteed to eat every day. Food is a luxury in the Tower of London, even if you are royalty. Now, Elizabeth is a very intelligent woman, and she knows this. So this, French, this young French man comes to her and says, Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth, there is this young woman from long ago. She wanted to know about your freckles. She wanted your beauty. I need to know the secret. And Elizabeth thought for a moment and said, stay here in the Tower of London and make me a bowl of lentils every single day. And I will tell you how to give her freckles. The young man agreed. So he stayed there at the Tower of London and every day made Elizabeth, Elizabeth a bowl of lentil soup with her own recipe. Days went by, weeks went by, months went by. Went by. Elizabeth never know if she's going to go to the heads or not. Until one day, three months later, she gets word that she's to be released and moved to Windsor Castle. She's absolutely relieved. So she calls the French young man to her <coughs> and says, I'm going to be moved to Windsor Castle and I'm going to release you to your other service. I'm going to tell you how to give your lady preference. I'm going to write a letter. So she does. She writes a letter. She gives it her personal stamp. She gives it to him. Give that to your true love. She will know. And, and, and with this note, give her a bowl of lentil soup that you have made for me this whole time. And the young man said, okay, I, I will do so. So he goes back, he travels back to France, and he shows up at her door with a bowl of hot lentil soup, the same recipe that he cooked for Elizabeth, and the note. So they call her downstairs, and she comes, and she sees this young man with a bowl of soup, a bowl of lentil soup, and a message from Elizabeth. Okay. She takes the letter, she opens it up, and she reads it, and she laughs. She laughs like she has never laughed in years, and she grabs the soup, and she just starts eating the soup. The parents have no idea what to do. They're lost their minds in grief. She's been depressed for years, and suddenly she's erupted in laughter and she's eating this soup. What does the note say? So they grab it and they read it. Freckles are called lentils in England. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth ate a bowl of soup, a bowl of lentil soup, every day of her life, and she, yes. She attributed lentil soup.